welcome back everyone in today's video we are going to give you guys an update and show you guys how to dial in and calibrate your hue tech quick shifter using the cell phone app right after this So basically, as you already know, I purchased this quick shifter a while back ago, a couple of weeks ago, and I made a install video and I also did a first ride video. In the first ride video, I stated that it was restricting my bike. Well, these are the reasons why it was restricting my bike. First of all, I installed it, I got on the bike, I didn't calibrate it to the bike, and I just took off to test it, which was a good thing because it let me know where did I stand as far as the capabilities. So here we are, and let's get right to it. I'm gonna turn on the bike. It's gonna get loud. I'm hoping you guys can hear me. Uh, I don't have Angel here with me today. And I don't have another mic set up. So I'm going to speak up a little loud. So hopefully you guys can hear me. So let's go to the app real quick. Go IQS Easy. And it's called Heel Tech. And let me show you here. What you see here, let me get my glasses. What you see here, it wants to connect to Bluetooth. But let's bypass all that right now. Engine speed, uh, pulse per rev. Uh, first RPMs. Now, what they mean first RPMs is at what what at what RPMs do you want to program it to start start shifting? You can set it up for 2,000 RPMs. You can set it up for three. I left it at three. And then the last uh, the last RPM means that basically that's where your bike is gonna be like you know anyhow. That's where your bike is going to be like, okay, if you have a 17,000 RPM motorcycle, which you don't want to exceed that, of course, because once you hit 15 and a half, you're already at almost 15, actually 15 and a half, you're already on red zone. But I got this bike dialed in and I got it to go a little more around 16,000. But for some reason on this app, 16,000 is not enough. So for me to dial it into this bike, I have to either go 16.5 or 17. And to be honest, I tried the 16.5, it was okay. Um, I, still, I still felt restricted, because remember, all this is Disney chain and it's going through the whole elect electrical system in order for you to shift. So I am gonna go and show you guys how to set this up. Uh, as you see here, it's a sensor type. That's the sensor, sensor value, uh, sensor threshold, cutoff delay, cutoff time, security code, hardware, blah, 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 blah. Y'all get the point. But that's another page here. Of course, when you turn on this, uh, the bike and connect to your Bluetooth, all these light up. And you want to go to wizard setup. Go to wizard setup. And basically what you're doing is you're calibrating, you're using wizard setup to calibrate your uh, heel tech quick shifter to the bike uh it's gonna tell you to shift some gears so once so let me, let me show you so once you know you you go through the process the last process i believe is uh shift up and what it does is it gauges the the sensitivity of how much uh pretty much it needs sensitivity it needs to shift the gear to 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 activate the quick shifter uh, coil cutoff, per se. If I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. Um, hopefully, I'm explaining myself correctly. But uh, let's 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 turn this on. I'm gonna need two hands, so give me a second here. 
Alright, so we're gonna connect and in order to connect to the heel quick the heel tech quick shifter module as you see it's, it's already connected let me go to first page you gotta make sure your rpms match your gauge rpms This is a daisy chain setup. So, if you restrict it here, it will restrict the power. It will restrict you from hitting higher, higher RPMs. So, I'm gonna set that up high. So now, here's, here's the key. This is the sensitivity of your shifting. So you gotta sit on your bike with the engine running idle and clutch pulled. Do a shift motion so we're gonna go with the clutch pull one two three four five six so right now my brush hole is at 70 percent let me go down We'll do that again. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so I'm going to go down. Ask you how many cylinders go next and finish the process so now the, the process is finished so now I'm gonna turn it on and play around with the quick shifter all right so let's turn it on we're gonna go put it on first the wheel is spinning
shift on me accidentally. See, I just shift it. Now I can hit it. Right now it's on six gear. So yeah, as you see, now it won't accidentally shift. So we're gonna take it for a test ride and see if I can hit the 17 or at least 65,000 RPMs and it not bogging down on me. So catch you in a bit. Okay guys, I am back. I am testing out the quick shifter and it's not cutting off. The sensitivity is just right. It's not accidentally uh, activating. This thing is running sweet. To be honest with you, I'm really digging this quick shifter. I just want to try it and test it on the high RPM range at the 17,000 but uh she's moving that's for sure uh, I, I'm really I'm really I'm really happy with this product I'm satisfied at first after my first initial ride I was, I felt a little bit like, okay, somewhat disappointed in a way, but not, not 100% because I knew that uh, I had to dial it in. And, you know, I couldn't judge it on that first test ride. So this is why we all here again. We're testing this out and once I hit my destination, I'm gonna I'm really bring it up in the high, uh, in the high uh, RPM range. So I think I got my spot, and we're gonna let it rip. Go guys. enough for me to hit 170 but I did feel the difference I did feel the difference the, the bike hit 16 17 almost I think it hit 17 but it bobbed down a little bit because usually when bikes hit that that power band I mean uh, that high rpm it tends to lose power the power tends to drop and that's the way they got those computers programmed all right guys we're gonna wrap this up right now uh if you like this video don't forget to hit like and subscribe we got more content coming soon catch you on the next one peace